What's up everybody? Before we start this video, I got to apologize in advance. We got a house being built down the street. It's loud, they're hammering, you hear the saws going off. And also kids are playing at the park and they're having fun and they're being loud. So work with me with the noise in the background. Today's video is about some steel targets and steel targets go a long ways with me. If you follow me on the gram, you see me shooting, you're always gonna hear some type of feedback from the steel. I absolutely love shooting steel. Uh, but there's one thing that you have to be aware of when you're shooting, there's a difference between AR500 and soft steel, all right? And when I say soft steel, we're talking about just a, a, a steel plate that you just cut out from uh, a piece of metal left over from the shop, okay? That stuff is fine, but it's also dangerous if not used properly, all right? Uh, you could get hit with shrapnel. Uh, the bullets can pass through that type of metal depending on how thick it is. And, uh, you know, it doesn't hold up as well. And when I mean doesn't hold up, you start to pit the steel. And when it starts getting pitted, uh, you, you will run into some safety issues. So uh, it gets questionable at times. All right. And you you're almost put in a position where you have to buy some quality steel, all right? And I'm not saying that you have to go out and buy uh, some steel targets from this company, but uh, I just want you guys to see what I've experienced and why I like shooting steel so much. So in the past, we had our own little steel target. I want to say it was like a six inch plate. We were beating it up. We were blowing the chains off of it. We were knocking it over. It was always a problem, all right? And uh, about two years ago, I came across TA targets and I was like, man, these are some great targets. Everybody else is shooting them. I mean, they're, they're popular in the shooting industry. All right. And so I was like, man, I got to get my hands on these things. So I hooked up with them and we started chatting and we be actually became some pretty good friends. They've come down to Texas and hunted with me. I hung out with them at the NRA show and uh, we got some we got some new targets here. And I also want to show you the old targets that I have and what they've been through the last two years, all right? Uh, again, if you're following me on the gram, you see it. I'm shooting long range, I'm shooting uh, close range, I'm shooting mid range, and you always hear the feedback from the still. And I wanna show you guys what I've been shooting. All Here right, so these are the targets that I have, and these are ADAPs, and this is, I can't remember, I think that's a two-third ADAP. And it's our full size ADAP. And then we have a pig. I actually picked this pig up at the NRA show. I recommended it and I said, man, it's great to have a, a medium sized pig target to practice on. And no, this wasn't 20, 50, 100 yards. This was like a thousand yards. So there's shots all over the place. And that was actually with my 18 inch 6.5, which uh, doesn't really do too well at long range. But, anyways, uh, we also have a popper here, and this is like a, uh, this is a gopher, a uh, groundhog, whatever you want to call it, and whenever you hit it, it's, it's reactive, so whenever you hit it, it slaps back uh, upright. And then we have the stands over here, of course, the big ones for the pig, uh, and you put your 2 by 4 in there. You can also put some one by ones right here. Uh, no, those aren't one by ones. I can't remember what size those are, but you can use that for paper targets as well. Uh, these bases have been hit. Uh, as, as you can see right here, this one's actually been hit by a round and you, you can see how well that held up. I mean, it's this is not designed to be shot <laughs> and still the base plate held up really well. Uh, but one thing I do want to show you guys is how well the ADAP uh, has held up. This one has been shot the most. I cannot give you guys a round count on this plate. It is a lot. And uh, the guys from TA Targets came down here and uh, one of the owners saw my plate and he was like, dude, you've been shooting the hell out of this thing. And like, check this out. I mean, you can see I'm hitting it all over the place, right? I want you guys to see something. Look how straight that is, all right? That's half inch. This is half inch AR500 steel, all right? Look at this one. And this has already been flipped over once. Oh, I don't know if I can get it up. Look at that. <laughs> he saw that and he was like, man, you are shooting the crap out of this steel. And I said, man, it takes it. 
It, it just takes a beating. And what I love about these targets is the feedback that you get from it. Even at 1,000, 1,200 yards, you can sit there and you will still hear the ping. It's really loud. It, help, it just holds up to everything. We all know that 223 is probably the worst thing that you can shoot on this. And people are like, man, 223, that's not that big of a caliber. It's not the size of the caliber, it's how fast it's traveling. So 50 to 100 yards, 223 will pit the steel. You can see it. All these little guys right here, that's all 223. Look at this, it's all 223. This right here, this is like 65, 308. It's not pitting. So the closer you shoot with 223, the more damage you're gonna do to your steel. But it's still safe to shoot. It's not pitting. It's not getting to the point where shrapnel is going to come up and hit us. So that's that's holding up really good. These are all half inch. And uh, we got some new ones in. Let's unbox these and show you guys what I got. Got them unboxed. We got the stands over here. Brand new stands. Fresh tan powder coat. Hasn't been shot yet. The stands haven't been shot yet. <laughs> uh, got the two by fours, but no targets on them. I want to show you guys what we got here. Brand new ADAP. Check this out. Look how straight that is. Look how straight that is. Let me show you the old one. I don't even know this one will stand up on its own. No, it won't. You got too much weight on one side, but look at that. You can see the difference. This joker here has been shot a lot. And I got something over here that I'm extremely excited about. The 308 hostage target. It's just like the small ADAP right over there, but it's a hostage target. Let me show you guys the measurements real quick. Listen to that, still ringing. So the regular size ADAP is 12 inches wide and uh, 23 and uh, three quarters. And then the small ADAP is eight, uh, seven, seven, eight. So let's say eight inches and uh, 15 and three quarters. All right, these are half inch thick. Let me show you what they're rated for. This is half inch AR 500. So we're good with 223, 556 at 30 plus yards, 308 at 50 plus yards, Magnum rifles 100 plus yards, and pistols 10 plus yards. Let's check out what the little guy says. Here, the same exact thing. The same exact thing. You know, I make fun of these guys all the time. They're out of PA. And I always call them Yankees and we're cracking jokes back and forth. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Those Yankees know how to make some damn targets. Because I shoot the shit out of them and there's no problems with it. <laughs> Let's get this assembled and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all set up. All right, guys, we got the targets assembled. And I got them set up. We got the small ADAP here with the hostage. You guys are going to like this. This is pretty cool. This is really good with pistols. Nothing new. All right. We've all seen these before. Uh, but this is the first one I've ever owned. So, uh, obviously, the hostage is the white plate, all right? Bad guy is the tan plate, all right? Hit it with enough force, flips over. Hit it with enough force, flips over, and it just goes back and forth. And uh, the way you remove it is you'll move it back to this middle position, and you just pull it up. There's a little notch back there. I have it loose right now because I'm going to set it up over on the big one probably for the big guns and uh, we'll probably shoot that this weekend, but that's the setup there. I can use that same bracket over on the big ADAP with the bigger plate, all right? That plate's bigger than the tan one. They're both half inch steel, AR-500, uh, but obviously that one goes to that ADAP and then the small one with the small ADAP. This is perfect for pistols. And then I'll have this one set up for the ARs, bolt guns, stuff like that. But there is something I want you guys to check out. Listen to this. Listen to this. Got the got the hammer here. Listen to this. That thing is ringing. In the small ADAP. You're definitely going to get some feedback when you shoot that. 
some great targets. Like I said, those boys from PA are doing a damn good job building some steel targets. TA targets. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope it was helpful in some kind of way. <laughs> I just want you guys to be careful out there, man. Seriously, using that soft steel or any type of homemade steel targets, uh, accidents can happen and uh, just be safe at all times. I'm not saying don't do it, just be careful. Uh, again, I'll do everything I can to keep this content rolling. We'll take these targets out probably this weekend and shoot them and let you guys actually see what's going on and actually hear the feedback from the still as well. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe, please like, and I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks.